Yeah, hi Al. Uh, yeah, Craig's done a fantastic job over here at your house installing a new service panel and some arc fault circuit breakers and uh, he's labeled your panel and I'd like to go ahead and uh, walk you through uh, all your new equipment here. Yes, sir. Okay, let me go ahead and remove this panel for you. And uh, yeah, what we got going on here, Al, these are arc fault circuit breakers, okay? And I know you were concerned about your house wiring in your house. It's old and it's aluminum and there's some faulty wiring inside. So you asked us to install the arc fault circuit breakers to uh, keep yes. that circuit protected, okay? Yes. So anyway, this is an arc fault circuit breaker and uh, they pick up arc faults and ground faults. And uh, the way you test a circuit breaker is real simple. You come out here on a monthly basis and you trip the breaker like that. And then to reset the breaker, just push it all the way off and then just go ahead and turn it on, okay? Now, Al, you got some problems here I'd like to show you. Uh, this is one of the circuits here that's picking up a, a code here. You can see there's one light coming on. Mm -hmm. And then down here on this circuit breaker here, it's actually picking up two LED lights. Uh, this is demonstrating here that you have an arc fault uh, going on inside your home somewhere on the circuit there. So the best advice for you at this time is to go ahead and have us go through this circuit and clear any arcing that you might have going on. Right. I know most people know that when a circuit breaker trips, the rule of thumb is to go ahead and reset that breaker. That's true, but if you go to reset it and if you do see some lights come on, be sure to keep that breaker off, turn it back off and call us back out so we can take a look at it and fix that wiring for you, okay? Okay. All right, very good.